Hello, and welcome to yet another tutorial. Unfortunately, uh, I recorded this part of the tutorial earlier, but I forgot to record the audio, so I have to I, I have to do this over. <laughs> okay, so uh, what I'm going to be going over today is mainly the reloading script because I forgot to do that. Okay, I started working on the enemy the last tutorial that I that I forgot to record the audio as you can see here. I, ha I haven't done anything. It's just an, a sprite and an empty object. That's it. Okay, so moving on. Uh, our, if you notice in our last tutorial, our bullets went through the walls. So to t fix that, we just add a collision event for the wall, and then we just add this block, or you can type, you can put in a control block, and then just type in instance uh, destroy, instance underscore destroy. Okay, that takes care of that. Okay, next thing is the reloading script. Okay, you'll need three new uh, variables. Reloading. This will be a boolean. This will keep track if we're reloading or not. Reload time. That will uh, keep track of how how long it takes us to reload. So room speed equals to one second. So I just multiply that by uh, 0.5, half. So it takes half a second for the reloading time. Then our last variable is reload. Uh, this basically is the timer for the reload time. Instead of making an alarm, I just use this variable. So, yeah. Okay. Because I actually like to do a lot of things in the step event. You could actually really do both of these two events in the step event. And even the, uh, well, I guess uh, I guess you could do the create event too, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to make this. So if, first I'm going to make it this if statement. So if key or check or R. So if we're pressing the R button and we are not already reloading. Then reload equals to oh, zero, and reloading equals to true. So uh, it sets the timer to zero. Oh wait, the phone's ringing. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna pause this. Sorry for that interruption. <laughs> Someone called me. Okay, so continue. Okay. Oh, I forgot a brace or a thingy here. Whatever, whatever it's called. Okay, I'm gonna add another if statement. So if we are reloading, so if we're reloading, this will happen. So what will happen? Uh, well, we want our timer to move to increase by one every step, and we want to check if the timer is up, if reload is greater than we re reload time then I know this is being sort of redundant but just in case reload ah, equals zero okay reload equals zero reloading equals false okay and then ammo equals max ammo okay so let's I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, so right now what's going on, a quick overview is if you press R and you're not already reloading, uh, reloading equals to true, so you are reloading now, so you can't press R over and over again. And we reset the timer to zero. Okay, so if you are reloading, so after you press this button, it will keep increasing the timer by one every step, and once that timer is up, or is greater than reload time, which is the time, the number of frames it takes t for the reload time. Uh, I'm not sure how to explain it, but it's self sort of self-explanatory. Uh, reset the timer just in case. Uh, you're not reloading anymore, so reloading equals false, and we set your ammo back to the max. Okay, to the max. Okay, let's go ahead and test this out. Okay, gosh, come on. Okay, so we got our little sprite here. He moves fine. Okay, 
I'm not sure if you can see that number 32 by 32 right here. So we start shooting. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, as you can see, the bullets don't go through the walls anymore. So that's a good thing. Okay. Uh, collision still works. Okay, everything's good. Happy. We're all happy here. Good. Oh yeah, what happened there? What the heck? Look, after... Okay. If I press W, I think it starts reloading on me. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, uh, okay. What the heck? That is so strange. Okay, I'm not sure what just happened. Oh! Wait. No. I have no idea what happened. I think I did something wrong. I have no idea what I did wrong. Okay, so let's redo this. Reload equal plus equals one. If reload is greater than reload time, reload equals zero. Okay, so that's all good. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. I messed up. You see, I had these, like, things. All messed up. Okay, it should work now. Okay. Should be, like, here. Okay, let's test this. Hopefully, it will work. <laughs> We're gonna seriously spend, like, half these videos just debugging it. Okay, so shoot all my bullets out. It's all good. Okay, press R. Half a second, reloads. That's great. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and make a draw event so we can draw like a little uh, a bar that reloads and stuff like that. So first, whenever we draw something extra that has a sprite, we want to draw the sprite again. Because once you start drawing stuff here and make this event, Game Maker doesn't draw your sprite index anymore. Which is the sprite you selected and put on the ob object. Okay, so I'm just gonna set all these to the defaults. One uh, image angle uh, negative one. A uh, negative one is pretty much null in Game Maker. In case you're wondering. Okay. Wait, what the heck? Oh. Okay. Now. I'm gonna draw if so if we're reloading so if we are reloading it will draw this bar um, otherwise it will be invisible I'm just gonna set the color to white not for racist reasons but just I don't know I thought of like reloading bars as white for some reason Okay, so how are we doing on time? Oh, we're almost running out of time. Okay, so draw a rectangle. X, Y. Oh, you know what? That's stupid. Okay, so I'm just going to set this to X for now. 1. Okay. So Y minus 16. Okay, X. Uh, y minus 18. So it'll be 2 pixels high. So the X is going to be the tricky part. I'm going to make it decrease. It's gonna get smaller, and yeah. So let's see if I can put, get my math right. So x minus 16, x plus plus 16. Okay. So this will be plus. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna end it here for now. It's gonna take me a while to do this. Uh, this is embarrassing. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do this in a later tutorial, and then after we do this, hopefully we can get coding, uh, decoding the enemy. And, uh, if you could just take half a second to press the like button, that would be great. That, that would be awesome. Uh, and post a comment. That, that would really help me, and show your appreciation to my videos. Uh, that would greatly encourage me to make more. So, uh, post a comment, rate, and I guess if you really like this video, favor it, but I don't demand it. So, thank you. Bye.